Everybody, our world is full of soft ass freaking people. Like if you're not careful, you can become these people. Once you get this here in a minute, you'll never fucking take for granted another second in your life. My body went numb like a minute ago. I can't feel a thing from my head to toe. I lost my mind, man, I'm out of control. I can't stop, no, thinking I'm about to blow. Like a door you cannot let weakness penetrate your mind. You guys, no one takes you out, okay? People try, but you're the one that takes you out. If someone comes against you, if so, okay, are there other companies we compete with? No, but there's other companies that are trying to compete with us, right? Okay, so listen to me. If we think, well, my point is if somebody comes against us, whatever we think about them coming against us will determine what will happen. Am I right? So it's a neck up war. So if I'm thinking, hey, man, I don't know, dude, they got a big team, they got this, you're already getting your ass kicked because you're doing it here. It ain't even happened in the field yet. That's going to happen next. But if they do that and you're like, oh, dude, I've been waiting for someone to come against us. This is good. I needed that. I feel good. I like that. You know, I like it when somebody bet against me. I like it when somebody thinks they can take over my territory. I like that. Matter of fact, I needed an enemy. I needed one because I was getting a little comfortable. But now I got one, now I'm going to go freaking tear them down. See, you can decide how you take that information. You know what I'm saying? Like everything here is a, is a, is a mindset deal. It's all perspective. Some of you in here right now, you have everything you've ever wanted in life and you're just not working hard enough for it. You're not giving it enough. You're not, you don't care enough. You're getting distracted. You're getting lazy. Listen, you guys all wanted to be financially independent your whole life. You always wanted to work for yourself. You wanted to have freedom. You wanted to be able to do this shit. Well, you got it. And now all of a sudden you, you can't handle your life when you got it because you got too much freedom. You know what I mean? I see it all the time. You guys have to, each and every individual, every one of you guys, get your shit together in this room right now and figure out, hey, what am I after? Who do I want to become? How many people's lives do I want to impact? Do I want to be fulfilled? You know, and by the way, is this, is this the right vehicle here for me? Well, I'm going to tell you this. When I was selling cars, I got excited and stood up, and I'm going to tell you what happened to me because of that reason. Okay, always be where you are. I can take out anybody. If you're in this room right now, but you're thinking about being somewhere else, that means you're not going to learn. That means in three hours, four hours, we're going to be done and you're going to walk out of here and you're going to be like, oh yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm motivated. And someone else will literally have a paradigm shift in their life. Someone will walk out of here and they're like, dude, I'm going to kill everybody. And then one person will walk out of here and they'll go, they'll be motivated for two weeks, but then they'll go right back to the same. The reason why we get together like this is because we reprogram. You guys, you're, you're a computer. You know that, right? If I bought a computer from somebody and I was going to start using it, I wouldn't start with their computer. I would reset the whole thing and then build my own. Does that make sense? You guys are a human being. You have a heart. Examine it for a minute. Okay, you have a mind. Examine it for a minute. How well is it operating? Hey guys, we'll get back to the video in a sec. If you're watching this video because you want to level up in life and business, then one thing you got to do is optimize your sleep. One in three people worldwide reported not getting enough good sleep every night. A big part of the why? Mouth breathing. Luckily for you, our sponsor, Hostage Tape, is your best friend when it comes to sleeping. If you're like me, you've probably also struggled with everything from insomnia, dry mouth, restlessness, snoring, headaches, sore throat, and even waking up with mental fog and grogginess because of mouth breathing by sleeping and didn't even know it. Poor sleep affects essentially every area of your health, wealth, and happiness. With Hostage Tape, you simply peel off a piece of breathable fabric, place it over your mouth before bed, and voila! Several hours later, you wake up feeling refreshed and energized. If you're ready to feel focused, clear-minded, and energized, go visit hostagetape.com backslash Elliot and get yours today. Thanks to Hostage Tape for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the show. In your heart in the current state, in your head in the current state, in your work ethic in the current state, can you physically get to where you want to go? Is it even possible? No. So you have to reset it. You have to reprogram. This is the cool thing about human beings, dude, their resilience. And I know this because I'm living proof of it. When I stood up that day at 18 years old, I'm going to go back to this. And I've said it 10 times because I want you to understand this decision I made. When I looked around and saw everybody else that didn't stand up, you know what I realized? I'm going to fucking kill these guys. I'm going to smoke them all. They're in it for the money. And I want to own this shit and be the very best. So this conversation today isn't for everybody. It is for your company and your team, for you guys to be the very best in your industry at what you do. And how will we do it? Well, we're gonna reprogram in this room. And by the way, listen, I'm gonna tell you the good news. This is super cool. I have, I have two daughters and I have a son. When I reprogram, I bring good shit back to them. 
Okay, so if you have, you have a family, like I have a wife. When I go home, whose job is it to motivate my wife? How many of you, you got a wife or a husband at home and you're not motivating them? I just want you to think about it. Once you get this here in a minute, you'll never fucking take for granted another second in your life. Guys, life is very short. Do you guys get it? Yeah. It's short. You guys think it's long? It's, you're, you're full of shit. It's short. Just like that, we're all going to be out of here and there'll be another group. Okay? you got a lot to do and a little time to do it. Now, whoever you're spending your life with at home, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, it is your job to motivate and inspire and lead that person to have their best life. That is your job. By the way, I'm going to tell you why this is important. There was a time I was motivating my sales team back when I was younger. I was 25 years old. Me and my wife were together. And I'm for, I mean, we're going back 20 years. And I remember my wife said something to me. She, it's always like I remember the most when she says it. But what I think happens is I think that our family gets kind of numb with us. And you know, you guys are all alphas in here, right? You're hungry, you're alphas, you're killed. They, you know what happens when they speak up and tell you how they feel? We just shut them up. You know, we just shut them up. So eventually they stop protecting us. And then we just run crazy. And then our relationship with them isn't very good. We get glimpses of good relationships here and there with them, but we never get a great life. It's so crazy. I was motivating my team. My wife goes, I wish I could get some of that. Like, I wish I could get some of that. I want you to know something, okay? You guys in here, your number one job is anytime that you run into somebody is to leave them in a better place when you met them. You say, well, Andy, that costs a lot of energy. Dude, what, what, do you, what else do you want to do with it? You just want to have it all for yourself? Dude, this is why people get miserable. This is why people hate themselves. You ever heard of self-sabotage? People tear themselves down? Do you know why? They have nothing good going on in their life. Or a matter of fact, or they have a lot of good shit going on in their life. But the only way they feel alive is to tear everything to the ground. And then that feeling, even though it's sick, it's like an endorphin rush. And then they fucking hate themselves, but then they got to work themselves back out of the hole. Dude, you guys don't ever want, okay, cycles and patterns. You guys are here with me today. I know what's going to happen when you leave. I already know. You guys' business is going to spike. It has to. Because every one of you are going to get out here. Your mental clarity is going to be massive. You're going to be laser focused. You're going to know who you're going to be. You'll remember your purpose and you're ready for war. You'll play close as a team and you'll kill it this year. That, that work happens. But then a couple of you start to get comfortable around each other. Okay? You married? Yes. Cool. How, how long? Six years. Cool. Six years ago, she made a decision that he was going to be the man that she would give her entire life to because he promised he'd make it better every day. There's a good chance now she's in the house, she's hanging around. Her life was actually better before she married him. She had more fun, more energy, more excitement, more spontaneous shit. It was cooler. Now, she might have security now, but do you guys want to play safe? Do you guys want to be put in a corner and be fed three times a day and put a little blankie on you to keep you warm? You guys want to have an adventurous, cool, kick-ass life, right? I guarantee that's what your spouses aren't getting. And the reason why, the reason why is because we become used to it. So I want you to write this down. I'm going to give you guys a lot of gold nuggets, okay? If you treat something like it's the beginning, there'll never be an end. Okay? So I want you to remember this. Everything that's a priority to you right now, okay, your income, your, your, your company, your, your kids, your wife, your health. Like I was talking to my man about his health. Okay, the way he felt when he was in school, when he gets out of here, he's got to go back to eating clean. He's got to go back to pounding the gym. He has to because that's important to him. I know it is, but he's letting everybody else freaking numb him down or he's done it to himself. And once he gets a taste of who that guy is, he's going to skyrocket. If you treat something like it's the beginning, there'll never be an end. Okay, so this company, you guys, let's go back to day one. Here's the deal. 40% of the world qualifies for what you guys do. All these people are happy to take what you have, I assure you. All we have to do is get in front of them and get them to activate. How do we do it? Number one, we become the greatest leaders in the world. And what are leaders? Influential. We must become influencers. I accidentally became an influencer. And I understand this now. That's why I can tell you this. I wanted to build a big business, right? I was like, dude, I'm going to build a big, bad business. And we did. But I didn't want to pay for marketing all the freaking time because, you know, advertising is expensive. So I started getting on social media. 
And then dude, when I got on social media, I started dropping all this you know, content out there about how to get a better life, how to recreate your life, how to reinvent yourself every day. And then plus, I was doing the accountability myself. I was working out, I was showing my family, I was running with my team, I was doing this hard shit intentionally. Everybody write down intentionally. Do intentional hard shit, okay? Don't listen, don't, don't just do hard stuff when there's hard stuff to do. Every day I want you to find hard stuff to do intentionally because that's how mental toughness is created. Listen, a lot of people are like, oh, this is a tough day. Hey, I look for tough shit. I was thankful for that, okay? Matter of fact, at the end of a test day, hard fucking day for me, I'm like, thank you. I feel a euphoric moment getting through a test day. Everybody write down perspective too. I'm gonna get, the reason why I tell you to write this stuff down is because you're gonna remember these words that I tell you at the end of the day. Perspective is this, you wake up this morning, you got a headache. You just lost your best customer. You got three guys on your team quit. You're arguing with your wife and you're fucking broke. Hey, I've been there. What do you do? Those days, number one, you identify this is a test day. You have to identify it. You can't be like, God, why me? No, you say, oh, oh, this is a, this is a test day. Okay, all right. So this, this today, maybe God's saying, hey, show me you really want what you say you want. Just, just show me you really want it, right? Because you've been telling everybody you want it, so I created an opportunity for you to prove it. Because everybody would want it if it was easy, but you only get it if it's hard. So that day you grind harder, you make more calls, you motivate more people. Remember, I run into you, I'm having a bad day, and I'm like, man, dude, you look good today, dude. We're gonna kill it today, brother. You ready to take over the world? Hey, by the way, anything that I can do for you, tell me what's going on. I got you, dude. Remember, we're family. Dude, every person I run into, right? Today's gonna be the biggest day you've ever had in your life. I already know it. Everybody's gonna say yes to you. They can't say no to you. Not with that, not with that attitude. Nobody can say no to you. Don't you ever forget that. I'm gonna go brainwash everybody that I'm in front of to have the best day of their life. Then at the end of the day, there's this euphoric moment. And when I say euphoric, I mean, you're like, Fuck, that sounds really cool. It is cool. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. When you go through a tough day and a day that's hard and you give your best and you don't think anything negative and your perspective is good, well, dude, at the end of that day, dude, you almost w wish it was harder because the way you feel is so rewarding that you were able to push through that. Everybody, our world is full of soft ass freaking people, okay? Now listen, you can't be one of those because everybody's like, oh, I know, but you're like, dude, I watch what you do, okay? Like if you're not careful, you can become these people. Okay, that's why I say like there's the 1%, 99%, and then the point zero 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 one percent There's three categories, okay? Remember I told you the rules have changed? There used to be the owner, and then they had the employees. You guys know what I'm talking about? In the old days, there were factories, and then there were people that worked for the factories. And then there were the, the people, and then the people that worked for the factory. So either you were an owner, and then people worked for you, or you were just an employee, and you worked for people. Does that make sense? Those were the, there were, there were two people, that one and that one. Now there's a third kind of person. This third kind is what I want to build with you guys. This person wasn't available five or six years ago, but it's available now. And see, the rules are changing in this industry and in all around the world and people don't know it. So they're trying to do shit that worked 15 years ago and don't work anymore. So number one, I want you to write this down. Number one, you got to stand out. You have to stand out. Cause I'm gonna tell you this, the world decides what you're worth and it notices you when you stand out. Okay, you have to be different. I need you to be different. Everybody understand this. I'm wearing short shorts, people laugh at me all the time. I love it, I own you. I stopped you in your tracks, I got you dude. Trust me, I'm good, I like this, I'm gonna be me and it doesn't matter, but my heart, my mindset, my skill, I'm dangerous, my team, what I can build, what I think is possible, my delusional belief, you have no idea what's going on. I want you guys to be you. When I first started, I'm gonna tell you this, the reason why I said stand out, be different, make connections others can't. Remember, make connections others can't. That means people that come across your tracks, I want them to be like, dude, how do I go work for you? How can I be with you? How can I hang out with you longer? These few things right here, make, make connections that others can't, stand out, be different, right? 
It's, it's basically called being a linchpin. Just being someone different. By the way, you guys, every one of you in here, some of you may be like, dude, I wanna do a different job one day. Dude, why don't you just do what you're doing now differently? Like you're falling into the traps. That's like saying, hey, one day I wanna have a good marriage. Well, I better start looking for a girl that I have a good marriage because me and my wife fight right now. You don't get a good marriage without fighting. You don't get your kid's trust and looking up to you as their hero until you go to a hard time, to go through a hard time with your kid. By the way, on a team, you don't get to get close to your team until you go through something really hard with your team and then you guys make it through the other side. I always say this, me and my wife, we always say, you'll know what you'll have with somebody once you piss them off. So I, for me to know what I have with anybody, I, like if you came to work for me, I'd try to piss you off as fast as I could because I want to see how he acts when he's, when he's pissed off because that's really who I'm getting. It's easy in the beginning when we're in the dating phase. You know, we're dating. But then once the honeymoon phase is over, what happens? You get a chance to see how people really react. You know, all of a sudden you're perfect. And then you, you know, you get in a fight and start cutting your tires and shit. You're like, whoo, damn, didn't know she was in there. Yeah, yeah, you should have picked off the first day. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.